Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss a typical type of question on simple harmonic motion from May June 2022, paper 4, variant 2. In this question, we will discuss some very important points about simple harmonic motion. And this video will help you to improve your conceptual understanding of simple harmonic motion. Watch the video carefully and try to improve understanding of this topic. Let's study together. Let's improve together. For our question number four, part A, we need to state what is meant by resonance. Resonance is very interesting phenomenon. It has many applications in our everyday life and also we can use this phenomenon in many ways for our own benefit. Let's try to understand this one with the help of simple pendulum. Simple pendulum simply means that we have a string and we attach one heavy mass at the end of the string. This setup means this simple pendulum has its own natural frequency. It has its own natural frequency. Natural frequency simply means that imagine that we have this physical pendulum. This is an example of physical pendulum. If I displace this one and then let it go, it will oscillate with certain frequency. Then it is oscillating freely means there is no any external force is acting on this then the frequency of this one is natural frequency mean it is oscillating at its own natural frequency now imagine that we apply force on this one if the frequency of driving force is the same as natural frequency of this pendulum its amplitude will go on increasing and this phenomenon is called resonance you can imagine that it is oscillating with this natural frequency now if I apply force on this one it's with the same frequency as its natural frequency its amplitude will go on increasing and increasing and this phenomenon is called resonance so in this case simply we can write down if natural frequency and driving frequency they are the same resonance will take place so we can say resonance will take place so we can say resonance and response system will response in this case at maximum amplitude so we can say maximum possible amplitude so system response at maximum amplitude response at maximum amplitude even in our body in our chest we have certain holes and water inside those holes they have their own natural frequency if we hear music with the same frequency as natural frequency of these holes in our chest we feel kind of excitement that is also an example of resonance this is how you can state what is meant by resonance simply you need to mention a phenomenon in which a system responds at maximum amplitude to an external driving force. And the second point you need to write down when the driving frequency is equal to the natural frequency of the driven system, resonance will take place. And this question has two marks. If you have written these two points, you will get two marks. The first mark you will get if you have written this first point, you will get one B mark. And the second mark you will get if you have written the second point means the natural frequency is equal to driving frequency. You will get two marks. For part B, it is given to us figure 4.1 shows a heavy pendulum and a light pendulum, both suspended from the same piece of string. This string is secured at each end to fixed points. So we have fixed points here. We have heavy pendulum in this case, we have light pendulum and they're attached with the same string. Both pendulums have the same natural frequency. The heavy the pendulum is set oscillating perpendicular to the plane of the diagram. So simply imagine that this is the plane of the diagram and this pendulum will oscillate like this perpendicular to the plane of plane of the diagram. So it will oscillate like this. As it oscillates, it causes the light pendulum to oscillate as well because these two pendulums, they have the same natural frequency and they're attached with the same string. So if one start oscillating, other one will also start oscillating. For this question, it is also given to us figure 4.2 shows the variation with time t of the displacement of two pendulums for three oscillations. We 
have displacement on y-axis and we have time on x-axis. It is also given to us the variation with time of the displacement x of light pendulum is given by x is equal to 0.25 sine of 5.0 times pi times 2 where x is in centimeters and time is in seconds. We need to calculate time period of oscillations. So simply you need to understand this equation in order to calculate time period. So I will be writing this one again. So it is given to us x as a function of time. This is equal to 0 0.25 sine of 5.0 pi times t. We need to compare this one with standard or simply you can say journal equation. x is equal to x naught sine of omega t sine of omega t. Now from here you can compare x naught is equal to 0.25 mean this is the amplitude 0.25 it is given to us that x is in centimeters so this is in centimeters. Now we can find out omega so this one is omega. Omega in this case is equal to 5.0 pi or simply we can say is equal to 5 pi so we can write on here. We need to calculate time period omega is equal to 2 pi over time period we need time period so simply we can rearrange this one will be equal to 2 pi divided by omega now if we plug in value of omega we can solve this one for time period omega is equal to 5 pi so we can cancel pi with pi so we left with 2 divided by 5 and this is equal to 0.40 seconds. So the time period of this pendulum is 0.40 seconds up to 2 SF. So this is our final answer. This question has two marks. The first mark you will get if you have written t is equal to 2 pi over omega, you will get one mark and that is C mark. And the second mark is answer mark. If you have got the right answer, you will get two marks. This is how marks will be awarded for this question. So it's very important. Always you write down the equation before you sub values. Before you plug in values, always write down equation. If your calculation is wrong, but still you will get one mark just for writing equation for the question. So you have to be very systematic when you answer these problems. For the second part on figure 4.2, we need to label both of the axes with correct scales. Use the space below for any additional working that you need. For this question, we have already calculated for the light pendulum time period is equal to 0.40 seconds and amplitude is equal to 0.25 centimeters. You can just read amplitude directly from here. Now we need to label this one. First of all, we will label x axis. Time period is given that is equal to 0.40 seconds so here we can simply label this is 0.40 seconds so halfway this one has to be 0.20 and next one you can label this one has to be 0.60 and this one has to be 0.80 and this one has to be equal to 1.0 and the last one will be 1.2. So this is how you can label x axis. And for y axis, amplitude is equal to 0.25. It means here we have 0.25. And 0.25 is equal to small, five small boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So five small boxes equal to 0.25 centimeters. So 10 small boxes will be equal to 0.5 centimeters. So this is 0.5 and this one will be 1.0 and here you can also label this is negative 0.5 and this will be negative 1.0 so this is how you can label. Main thing you need to understand, we have time period, we have amplitude. Then you can look at the scale and you can label this. Let me show you a clear picture of this. This is a clear picture, so you can see this one now. It's better to see. So this is how you need to label. So you can see the clear picture. This is how you need to label. If you label these both axes, you will get two marks. And this question has only two marks. If you have labeled X in a right way, you will get one B mark 
If you have labeled Y axis in the right way, you will get another B mark. And this question has only two marks. For the last part, we need to determine the magnitude of the phase difference phi between the oscillations of the light and heavy pendulums. And also we need to give a unit with answer. So first thing we need to understand how we can calculate phase difference. So we have two waves. Let's say this one is wave A and this one is wave B. Now we need to take two same points on these two waves. Let's say we take this point on wave B. So the same point on wave A will be this one. And we need to find the time difference between these two. Time difference. So the time difference I can say delta T between these two waves is equal to 0.106 second so this is the time difference this is time difference between these two waves and the time period we have that is equal to 0 0.40 seconds now we need to use ratio method and we can find the phase difference we need to understand the ratio between time difference over time period is the same as ratio between phase difference and 2 pi. Now we need to find phase difference. So simply we can write down phase difference will be equal to delta t times 2 pi divided by time period. Delta t in this case is equal to 0 0.10 seconds and here we have 2 pi and this has to be divided by time period. These two waves, they have the same time period. Now, if we solve this one, our answer will be 1.6 radian up to 2 SF. So, this is up to 2 SF. You will get answer 1.5 something, but up to 2 SF, you have to write down 1.6. So, the magnitude of phase difference is 1.6 and the unit is radian. This question has two marks. The first mark you will get if you have written this equation. You will get 1.6. C mark. And the second mark you will get if you have got the right answer. And this one is answer mark. If you got right answer, you will get two marks. But if your answer is strong, you have written this equation, you will still get one mark. We can also extend this one. This is also equal to for the waves, par difference divided by lambda. Par difference by lambda. So you can extend this one. For waves, if par difference is given and lambda is given, you can also calculate phase difference. So very important equation for your ES level and also very important for A2 physics. So this is how we can answer. That's all for this question and also for this video. I'll see you in next video and next video will be about May June 2022 paper 4 variant 2. We will discuss another question from the same paper in next video. And next video will be coming very soon. See you in next video.